Okay, uh, for those of you interested, um, I'm going to show off one of those secret shopkeeper dudes. Right here, this is pretty much the best one to find, for me personally. It's the cheapest one to get. So basically, after the last item on the list, usually, there's more of them. You just keep on scrolling up until you find the last one on the list. It's right here. And there's Sorosa level 6 for 300 gold. Credits, whatever. Now we own that, and we have the most powerful form of Sorosa. Now we can shoot them all fast like. So that's how to do that, and that's pretty much all I wanted to show off, so. Goodbye for now. Oh, wait. I'll just show you how easy it gets if you buy the maximum level items early on. It just kills enemies very, very fast. Much faster than before. In fact, let's go all the way to that one dude, whatever his name is. The Australian punk rock frog dude. Should be a little bit past here. I'll just take care of these dudes really quickly. Go down here, and here he is. Alright, now check this out. This is how fast you can kill him. Yep. Here's another one of those secret, um, shopkeeper guys. If you jump across the chasm that leads to the first boss in, uh, stage one, you can get Pride A, but it's pretty expensive. So there's that. Here's another nice little secret area. Um, it's right on the other side of level 3. The first area in level 3, you just jump over that pit thing. And here it is, so let's see what we get. Alright, Angara. I'm gonna buy him because we haven't showed off any custom and or we haven't showed off any of the things besides Sorosa. So, let's just see what this thing is like. Okay, so it's kind of like proximity. Er, it's a heavy bullet, I guess. Shoot! It shoots things good. Eh, I like it. It's kind of tough to use, but it'll do. So that's that. But we can't really afford anything, as you can see from our money. See what he has though. His laser guy. Holy crap, that is expensive. All right. Well, um, we restored the world. Let's see what happens if we leave it be. Ha ha. So, we agree with him. Um, Gehina decides to go against us anyways. Pretty much the same dialogue so far. Ah. Let the festivities begin. Not much to say. <laughs> Yuck, yuck, yuck. Alright, what happens now? Place explodes. That's what happens now. What is that thing? That thing is creepy looking. I've never seen that before, so... I don't know where it appears in the game. I've got a giant eyeball. Oh, hey. Oh, boy. You diminutive nag. 
You're of no use to me now. All right. I'm going to fight this dude. Also, I bought Priday. So this is Priday. He's uh He's got these nice fancy whatever they are. Got nice fancy boomerangs to shoot at him. Ah, oh, stop doing that. I am no fan of burning arrows. You jerk. Shut up! Crap. Aw, oh, dang it. Well, I know for sure that we have enough continues to beat this dude, but... I love that. He just jump. He goes so far off the cliff that he slides down the rest of the way and hurts himself. Sometimes he'll just randomly run off that thing without you even coming near him. Not the smartest guy sometimes. He's a cool character, though. So this is pretty much the same as his um, first form so far. Or that time when we had to fight him on the goat worm, caterpillar, whatever it is thing. Whatever you want to call it, you know. There we go. What have you got in store for us now? God, look at his face! And his nose! Some people have ridiculously spiky nose- Oh god! Look at it now! It's like, if you thought my nose was spiky before, then check this out! And the first thing he decided- Oh god. The first thing that he decided to do right there was, um, slide off the cliff. That is pretty creepy. Ow. Jeez. Nice. Ah, oh, I can't reach him. We almost got him, though. Ow. There we go. Mm-hmm. So they once had two attributes as well. You win the prize, now let me die. Alright. Now what? Ha! That sucks. <laughs> yeah, I have nothing to say about these endings. Just watch and enjoy. If the credits are any, any different, I'm just going to skip them, and then we can watch another final boss. I can also fit these clips that I recorded earlier to the parts before this. Doesn't that make the future just a little brighter? No. Can I just have a flashlight? Yeah, it's the same thing as before. Okay, nothing changed. Blah, blah, blah. Watch the pretty credits. Save our game again. Thanks for playing. And I guess that's it. Alright. Um... So, next time, we shall do yet another part. We're gonna change a few things up. We're actually going to fight Zohar, um, in that place where you have the two-minute time limit. We're going to defeat him, and then we'll see what happens from there, because that's the other part that branches the endings. So, see you next time, everybody! Stab!